Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make your character move, jump and fire with help of UI buttons in your Android Unity game. We will use standard cross-platform input package and a little script for it. This script will be available by the link in the description. Let's begin from the scratch so you can follow how it's done step by step. First proceed to Assets menu section, then proceed to Import package and select cross-platform input package. Once it's ready to import, hit Import button. After a few seconds, we have this package imported. Here it is. Now let's fill our scene with some game objects. I add a background, then I add some grass to walk on, change its order on layer to 5, so it's rendered in front of the background. Make grass game object a bit smaller. Here we go. And add a box collider to it, so our character can walk on it. Edit it a bit. Duplicate grass game object and position this clone like that, so we have some ground. Ok, now let's add a character. This is our old friend Cat with this powerful blaster. Let's make him a bit smaller. Then we gotta do one important thing. Select Cat Sprite and click Sprite Editor button. Here we have to place Sprite's pivot point somewhere in the middle of Cat's body. This will allow us to flip Cat's sprite to the left and to the right more accurately and naturally when Cat changes its move direction. Hit Apply to save the changes. OK. Next let's change Cat's order and layer option to 3, so it's rendered behind the grass. Next add a rigid body to the component. Set gravity scale to 2, so Cat falls a bit faster. Set collision detection to continuous and freeze its Z rotation. Next add a circle collider to D and edit it so it's positioned at the same level with cat's legs. This collider will help cat to walk. Ok, then add walk jump fire script to cat game object. Here it is. Here we have move speed, jump force and bullet speed variables that can be modified in inspector. And also we have barrel slot and bullet slot. These slots should be filled with some game objects. First is a bullet prefab. Here it is. This is a game object with circle collider attached with its trigger option checked. Also, it has rigid body to the component with gravity scale set to zero and collision detection set to continuous. Also, it has destroy in time script that destroys this game object after 2 seconds as it was instantiated. That's the bullet prefab. Drag and drop bullet prefab into bullet slot of cat walk jump fire script component. Next is a barrel game object that emits bullets from the gun. It's not created yet, so let's do it. Right click on cat game object and create new empty game object as a cat's child. Rename it as barrel. Here it is. Position it at the right tip of the cat's blaster. Right here. OK. Then rotate it in the way so its green axis looks along the gun's barrel. Bullets will be emitted that way. OK. Now let's take a look at walk jump fire script. First of all, it uses Unity standard assets cross-platform input library. Then here we have rigid body to the reference and direction x variable. Then move speed, jump force and bullet speed variables go that we can see and set in inspector. Then facing right and local scale variables go that help us to flip cat sprite when cat goes to the left and to the right. Then we have barrel transform and bullet rigid body variables that help us to fire bullets. OK. In start method we mark initial scale value and get rigid body to the component. 
Then in update method, we read if left or right button is pressed and set its value to direction x variable. Then if jump button is pressed, jump method is invoked. If fire button is pressed, then fire method is invoked. In fixed update method, we set a velocity in x axis to rigid body component according to direction x and move speed variables. In late update method, we check if cat's game object should be flipped. So if direction x is greater than 0, which means that cat is moving to the right, then facing right is true. If cat is moving to the left, then facing right is false. After that we should check if game object should be flipped according to facing right variables value and current local scale x value. In jump method, we check if cat is in the air first to avoid double or multiple jumps. And then we add a force to rigid body in up direction multiplied by jump force. In fire method, we instantiate new bullet at barrel position and with barrel rotation and then pass a velocity to it in barrel up direction multiplied by bullet speed. That's the script. Ok, now to make all of this work, we need some buttons. Create new UI canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Then right click on canvas and create new UI button. Duplicate it three times. Rename these buttons as left button, right button button A and button B. Expand all of them and clear those text fields in text components. OK. Select left button and drag and drop left button sprite into source image slot. Set its width and height. Right button gets right button sprite. Button A gets button A sprite. And button B gets button B sprite. Anchor left button at bottom left holding ALT plus SHIFT keys. Do the same for right button. Change left and right button's position a bit, so they appear more neatly. Like that. Position button A and button B at the bottom right corner the same way. Ok, now our buttons need some scripts. Expand standard assets folder, then expand cross platform input folder and proceed to scripts folder. Drag and drop axis touch button script to the left button and to the right button. Here it is. Axis name should be left as horizontal, axis value for left button will be negative 1, response speed and return to center speed should be set to greater values like 1000. Same for right button, except that axis value will be positive 1. Button A and button B need another script. It's button handler script. Add the script to button A and to button B. OK. Here is the script attached to button A. This button will be fire button, so type in fire1 into name field. Button B will be jump button, so type in jump here. To make this work, we need to add another one component, which is event trigger. It is in event section. Here we go. 
click Add New Event Type button and select Pointer Down option. Hit plus, select button A and select Set Down State method from Button Handler script. Add another one event type. Select Pointer Up option. Button A is already selected. So select Set Up State method from Button Handler script. Button A is done. Do the same for button B, selecting button B game object in objects list. Here we go. Last thing that I almost forgot is to drag and drop barrel game object into barrel slot of cat's walk jump fire script component. Like that. Ok. Now everything is ready. Here is how it works on my Android device. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.